Every time I visit my family in Germany, I love to go to the farmer's market and see what seasonal finds I can score and turn into tasty dishes. I also really enjoy taking the public transportation system. Every S-Bahn station is looked different. This is the iconic Kaiser Friedrich Wilhelms Kirche that was bombed in the Second World War. And a lot of hundred year old and older buildings lining the streets of Berlin. There's a lot of green every uh, quarter, every neighborhood has their own little center and Berlin is probably one of the greenest cities that I'm aware of and people really plant a lot of flowers and take good care of their neighborhoods which I think is so endearing. There is a local farmer's market that is pretty quiet actually early in the morning because people go in don't really go there until 10 or 11 in the morning. This is a Saturday farmer's market so people typically don't have to work even though these days with remote work and online work people work whenever they want. My mom is picking out some apples. These are kla apples and here is the currants, white currants, red currants and blackberries that I'm gonna pick out. Also lots of flowers. It's gonna be my mom's birthday so I might go back and find some really pretty flowers for her and decorate the table with them. People line up and wait for their vegetables and fruits and I'm still on the hunt for something that I cannot easily get in the United States back at home and I'm just gonna frequent one of those very different stands and booths until I find the one that I like. You can see here lots of different herbs that people have and they do make pestos, different ones, that are always yummy with all these fresh herbs like chives and parsley and rosemary and thyme, which I do have in my own garden at home, so I don't need to go here for those. You will get an artichoke, those are really good. I don't actually think they're grown locally because I thought that they need some more of a Mediterranean climate. They do grow in my garden at home in Northern California, but I don't know if they actually grow in the Berlin latitude, but they looked really good and they were super tasty. Germany is also known for its many, many different types of bread. I think Germany is the country with the most different types of bread because Germany also grows a lot of different types of grains. Here are the black currants that I'm really after, the red currants again, white currants and gooseberries, which um, here you can see in red. I typically know them in green. I have finally homed in on the black currants. They're known for their grape-like flavor. They have a bit of a deep flavor, but also an acidic taste. That das wäre vielleicht nicht so. Ja. Ja. Oh, yeah. Regt sich besser. Genau, und dann verlieren wir den Unterricht. Du ist es. Danke. Schön von Ihnen. Danke schön. Tschüss. Ebenfalls. Taking our delicacies home on these cobblestone streets, going home. This is so pretty, this pattern here on the street. It's a little noisy when cars drive across it, but it just looks so nice. Back in my mom's apartment, I am going to make a dish with the black currants. I am a bit envious of this big um, little paper um, bowl that I have here. and. The simplest way is to just take a fork and strip them off their stems. These are just really at the height of their ripeness and I can already smell them and some go right in the mouth. My brother has them growing in their garden, which again, I'm so envious. I am trying to grow them at home in Northern California, but my bush is pretty small, so it's going to take a while before I can actually have a harvest like this one right here. And I have a bowl here, which there's different ways that you can eat it. In the forefront here, you see a jam, which I'm gonna show you in just a little bit. And you can either mash them, you can also turn them into some sort of compote. But I really want to taste them like they taste fresh without adulterating them. And they don't need a lot because they are very sweet. And for some people, the flavor is a little bit deep, but I love that. And the black color gives us hints of that. I'm just going to fill up my bowl here and 
this can easily be either a summer snack or a lunch that you can have in the middle of the day when it's really hot. Berlin especially tends to get a little bit humid in the summer and then we don't really want to eat a heavy meal. We lean towards light, fresh, watery kind of meals and here I have my quark, quark. And I do have an entire video on how you can make your own because quark tends to be a little difficult to find in the United States. And if you do find it, it's pretty expensive. In Germany, you can buy this little, um, I think it's about a pint for probably a euro or something, which is just about right, about a dollar. So it's very inexpensive and mm, very good. It has a fresh taste. It's a little bit of like cheese, but it doesn't have the cheese deep flavor. Because it is so stiff, I'm adding just a splash of milk to make it a little bit lighter. And then I'm just going to mash it up and mix it up. I can also sometimes add a little bit of maple syrup or honey, um, any typical, like really easy natural sweetener. However, I really like it without anything, just quark and milk, and it's a little bit of an acquired taste. I find that oftentimes dishes are a lot sweeter in the US than German people enjoy their sweets and cakes and um, desserts, and I'm just gonna keep it like this. This is such a yummy, fresh, easy way. Like I said, you can also make a compote out of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the the berries popping in your mouth is just a sensation that I absolutely love and I cannot wait until I can grow this many berries at home and at that point I'm going to share a lot more recipes with all you guys. Here is that jam which is also from a local farmer's market. It's very deep. Um, it has that flavor that I love and but it is a lot sweeter. I'm just going to finish this up like I said, it's pretty warm here and humid summer meal. Here is the final dish again. You can see those dark black berries. And here is the clock again, like you just buy it in the store. I love that everything is cardboard and not plastic. This is something that I wish that we would have a little bit more in the US. And the last berries here that didn't make it into my dish. Berlin is a very cyclist friendly city because it's mostly flat and lots of people ride their bikes because sometimes it is actually faster to ride your bike than to drive a car in the traffic, just like many major cities. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear if you have comments and I'll see you in the next video.